Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here's your weekly technical analysis of Paris Rapeseed, Winnipeg Canola and Malaysian Palm Oil Markets. Paris Rapeseed. There were in the past two key patterns here. Then, they looked like there might be three, but we went back to only two now. Let's start with the two key paths, well, the first and larger one of the two key patterns, and that is the February 2021 to July 2022 ascending broadening wedge pattern. Currently 785 to well up off the top of my daily chart, far enough that becomes immaterial. It's highlighted on my daily chart in dark blue. This was not a perfect pattern, but it had been the main market driver here in the early part of 2022. The break lower in July last year left the following incredible targets on the downside. The primary target X is in the 352 even area with a harder to reach secondary target X1 in the 217 area. These are obviously well pretty much out there targets that you can put in your diary on the back page and just look at it maybe once a year. A further smaller pattern had developed until the end of September last year and on the surface it seemed a reasonable opportunity. It was created from the break lower of the larger pattern in June and July and is the optimized falling wedge pattern. I've highlighted this pattern in bright red. The key moment here was the break upwards at the start of October last year. Yet this break higher ran into a lot of headwinds in its attempts during the earlier part of October and was eventually capped with a combination pattern of a key reversal down on a three day bearish evening star pattern right at the start of November. The pattern did not even manage to reach its primary target and I will downgrade it for next time. This left us with a newer pattern, the early July to date bearish Andrews pitchfork. The market is at the moment in between the middle time below, currently 519, and the upper time above, currently at 590. You can see the times highlighted in purple on my daily chart. I thought when I drew this one that it might eventually need finessing or even turning into a shallower bearish shift pitchfork both of which I would be happy to do in a heartbeat. Well, it has not needed any surgery and is still good in showing the bearish angle of attack since late October 2022. Finally, there is again the elephant in the room to address. We had a monthly key reversal down in November and whatever you do, make sure you take that into your calculations or thoughts. Now, there had been a weekly key reversal up in mid-December and we have seen a follow through for the following two weeks thereafter, but prices ran out of steam on their approach to the upper tine in early January. Thus, the purple colored bearish Andrews pitchfork is the one to watch. Winnipeg Canola. During most of October last year, the 50% Fibonacci in the October 2020 to April 2022 move at 863.80 had been acting as a support, then as a resistance in mid-December, then as a support as we turned into the new year until last week it gave way as is now again resistance. This final move was I suspect related to the final impact of the monthly key reversal down we saw in November. Now if I take you back to late summer last year I had said the following and I quote it became evident since the start of the sideways to slightly lower movement was seen here since June that there was a shallow bear channel currently 882.30 to 766.20. And it is this that had been driving the market lower during the summer, end of quote. Now to emphasize this point, <coughs> I added, and I quote, so it seems that until that slightly bearish channel breaks or morphs into another pattern, it will continue to show the slightly bearish angle attack of this market, end of quote. Well, as you can see, the bear channel is still there. It has been breached on both sides, most recently in early November, but it still remains valid and is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. In addition to the monthly key reversal and also this uh, bear channel finally kicking in during this year, or should say the, the key reversal kicking in this year, we have another feature that has been impinged upon the market is the June 2020 to date uptrend currently at 8.12.70 and highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. The market came so close to testing the back, this back in early September and then again in late November and it seems it may do once again in this coming week. It is worth keeping a close eye on this as it could turn this previous bear channel into a sideways triangle with all the implications that may have. I'd also like you to consider this thought from my commentary from four weeks ago and I quote, 
There is just the thought of what may be the whole of April today action. It could be seen as a bottoming action. You see, it can all be seen just as it is a shallow bear channel, or it might look at we might look you might look at it as part of a very large bearish halfway hesitation. It is still too early on these thoughts, but I think you they need to be present when things start to happen eventually, and that's the end of the quote. I would add one final item that may or may not come about. It is to look closely at the movements of the short moving average, currently at A53 and a half, the short medium moving average, currently A5570, and the medium moving average, currently A5020. There is the possibility, distant at the moment, but these three may combine and form a bow tie formation. They are close, but not close enough just yet to so just keep a wary eye on them. Bursa Malaysia crude palm oil. Over September and mid-October last year, the market had formed a small but effective reverse head and shoulders pattern, which I've highlighted on my daily chart. It was the break higher over the neckline, highlighted in dark blue, combined with the break higher over the old neckline of the September 2015 to November 2017 head and shoulders top, currently at 319.12, uh, 39.12, sorry, my apologies, which is highlighted in bright red, and finally the break above the short medium moving average, currently 4.40.06, that all together caused the move up in early November. It gave potential targets on the top side of a primary target in a 42.45 area and a secondary harder to reach target X1 in a 44.40 area. In late October, prices reached the primary target and we've come close to target X1 as recently as early January, but we've not managed it so far. I thought about retiring target X1 last time, but cautious as I am, I've kept it on and I will again for a little while longer. You see, every time we've seen an attempt high, we've also seen the market drop back to the seeming security of the combined support of the old neckline, short medium moving average, and the medium moving average, currently 39.08. Now, more on these moving averages shortly, as I wish to expand on a new pattern I discussed four weeks ago. <clears throat> In the meantime, I have also drawn last time a mid August to early November 2022 mildly bearish shift picture, which is highlighted in green on my daily chart. The market is currently in between the middle time below, currently 36.80, and the upper time above, currently 43.16, and has been gently heading lower between these two times since the pitchfork was created back in November last year. This pattern is now doing the running. Now, just before we stop looking at anything else and concentrate on this pattern, there is something else I would like to discuss and ask you to look out for. It related to my earlier comments on the moving averages. You see. We have a bow tie formation of the short moving average, currently 39.95, the short medium moving average, currently 40.06, and the medium moving average, currently 39.08. This pattern was created on or about the 21st of December last year, and the theory goes that between 15 to 20 trading sessions after, we may see the start of a move directly related to this bow tie formation. But we have an issue, as Christmas and New Year, New Year are in there, affecting the count. Ideally, this week, we should have seen a manifestation of the next move. But right now, it is looking far away from any manifestation, bullish or bearish. So, it's an abs so in its absence, please keep watching the shallow bearish pitchfork, highlighted in green, and the neckline, highlighted in red. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.